Good morning. Well, today is my third day in the park, and last night I camped out on Longbow Lake. So yesterday afternoon when I got on to Longbow, I paddled down probably halfway down the lake, maybe three quarters, but there was still a lot more to explore. Uh, I've been on Longbow, well, once before, once before, maybe twice before, and uh, never explored its full length. Um, so I want to go down and see the far end. Uh, there's a portage down there, so maybe check it out. Uh, I'll check the map later and, you know, confirm where it goes and all of that. But uh, this trip is about exploring this section of Algonquin from Access Point 2. And the main lakes that uh, people we get out on are Tim Lake, Rosebury, and Longbow. Uh, of course, we also follow the Tim River, and the Tim River leads into, you know, the interior of the park, so. But Longbow is an interesting lake where uh, the portage that goes from Longbow Lake to continue onto the Tim River is right at one end, and so are the campsites. So there's the far end of Longbow that is really rarely explored, except for people who might be camping on the lake or on Rosebury and decide to venture down and have a look. So that's what I'm here for today. And then later in the day, I'll likely go and explore some of Rosebury. And even though it's an adjoining lake, I'll be camping on Rosebury tonight. So I'm down at the far end of Longbow Lake now, and uh, it does go a little bit further, a bit of a creek. Um, I'll turn the camera so you can see. So just over there. And as you can see, there's lots of lily pads and whatnot. I'm going to try paddling over, but uh, I'm not prepared to, you know, go too hard and pull, pull the canoe through mud or anything so we'll see how it goes but if i can get through i had a quick look at the map there's a 230 meter portage uh, that leads to a lake or a pond called bog pond so it doesn't sound the greatest but uh yeah we'll have a look
Okay, so hit a beaver dam that's a lift over and uh, like I said before paddling in this stretch, I'm not prepared to, you know, push myself too hard through here. I'm not wearing my hiking shoes and uh, I'm heading the other direction technically. So just came down to explore and reach the end of Longbow. Now, I'm not sure if on the other side of the dam here is Longbow continued or if that's the actual uh, uh, bog pond. I don't think it's the bog pond. I think this is still uh, the creek at the end of Longbow. But uh, yeah, I didn't see a portage between the main Longbow and where we are now. But yeah, you know, a part of me would like to one day come back and explore further on, but I'll have to have a look in the map and uh, see where it heads to and how long the trail is and, you know, what the benefits of going further are. One thing I can say though, and like I said, is this end of the lake, there's no campsite. So paddling down, nobody and just peaceful, quiet, nice, really nice. Salami and Gouda cheese wrap. Made two of them, just finished one. Yesterday I only had trail mix for breakfast and coffee and then I didn't eat or drink until Three or 3.30 in the afternoon I felt lightheaded and sick to my stomach so I promised myself yesterday that I'd make sure that I ate and drank so I checked the time on my inReach and it's 11.30 time to have something to eat okay so I've made my way back uh, I'm up at the top end of Longbow Lake where it meets Rosebury. I'm just about to go through the little passage and uh, I think the first thing that I'll do is just uh, paddle around, keep my eye out for a suitable campsite. I'm guessing it's probably going to be busy in there still. Uh, yesterday it looked like all of the campsites were taken so uh, hopefully somebody's packed up and left. Hopefully a few people have. I think today is Wednesday, so midweek. It kind of makes me feel like anybody who's out here is like me and planning to stay at least a couple nights. But uh, yeah, we'll see. And uh, I'm sure there'll be at least one site available. And that's mine.
first campsite is available and I've camped on Roseberry a few times, never camped here. Um, it's one that I've actually had my eye on. So I'm going to pull in and have a look, see if there looks like I can already see spots where a hammock can be set up. But yeah, I'm going to check it out for suitability and yeah, let's have a look at this campsite. This is a nice campsite, definitely prime real estate. So I'm going to camp here and uh, a couple spots I can see that I can hang the hammock so that's not an issue, but this is nice. A couple spots where you can have a look out on the lake, like this one here. So. Yeah, I think I'll be happy here for the day. So if you look at Jeff's map, there's two beaches on Rosebury Lake. The one is on the North Shore, which I don't know if you'd be able to see, but it's over there. And the other is in front of me, right up here. So I decided I'd check out one of them. And this one, it also says that the forest behind it is provincially significant. Now, I don't know why, and I wish the map, if you're gonna say, provincially significant say because of or something but anyway it's a provincially significant forest and beach i don't think the beach is significant but significant that there's a beach there um yeah anyway i'm gonna check it out i'm gonna have a look at it see if it's a uh, swim worthy This is pretty nice. This is what? Day three? Day four? Day three? Tim Lake? Longbow? Rosebury? Day three. Three days in. I think I need to get cleaned up. Looks like a good place for a swim. Okay, so swim's done, um, feel much cleaner, feel good. Uh, saw a few leeches swimming in there, so I'm not gonna spend too long. But I think that I will head back and do what I need to around camp, hang the food bag rope and gather up some firewood and yeah, just prepare for the night. Okay, so I've been back from my swim for quite a while now. Uh, the weather's been, well, it's been good. It hasn't rained, but the clouds came in and for a while I thought it was gonna rain. So I threw the uh, fly up over the hammock, I needed to anyway, it was wet. So it, now it's dried off or close to dry. Um, yeah, what else did I do? I hung the food bag well the ropes and did a video on how to do that that'll be on my knot channel um i filtered water had a snack um gathered up a little bit of firewood and yeah got my meal going so tonight it's just going to be a quick freeze-dried meal uh, end of the trip well close to the end and uh 
yeah, I don't mind them. I know some people don't like them and fair enough, you know, I don't like green peas. So, um, but for me, one or two meals on a, you know, four or five day trip. Yeah, I don't care if it's a freeze dried meal. They're light, they're not really nutritious, but they're filling and uh, yeah, good enough. So, um, yeah, I think that's all. I haven't had a chance to relax at all. So I think I'm going to go sit down, have something to eat. And then after that, I'll get the fire started. Still plenty of sun, so no point getting it started yet. But uh, yeah, I'll get that started and then relax for the evening.